it's natural for us to focus on the difficulties we're facing. The more we think about our struggles, the more overwhelming they can seem. It's like a snowball rolling downhill, the more attention you give to your hardships, the bigger and heavier they become. Before long, that snowball of hardship feels like an avalanche, and we feel buried beneath it. It's all about focus. When your focus is on your pain or difficulty, that pain can consume you. You start to doubt if things will ever get better. You might even begin to question God's plan for your life. But that's where a powerful truth comes into play, what you focus on grows. If you dwell on your struggles, they'll feel impossible to overcome. But when you shift your focus to God, something miraculous happens. Suddenly, the weight of your trouble starts to lift. Your heart becomes lighter. You begin to feel a sense of peace, even when nothing around you has changed yet. This reminds me of the story of Daniel in the lion's den. It's one of the most powerful examples of faith and focus in the Bible. Imagine Daniel, a man thrown into a pit full of hungry lions simply because he was faithful to God. The Bible tells us Daniel slept peacefully among the lions that night. If Daniel had focused on the lions, on their sharp teeth, their growls, or their strength, he wouldn't have been able to sleep a wink. Fear would have overtaken him. But Daniel's focus wasn't on the danger surrounding him. His eyes were fixed on God, the one who created those lions, the one who had the power to shut their mouths. And that's exactly what God did. He protected Daniel because Daniel trusted him completely. So, what does this story teach us? It shows that when we focus on God instead of the challenges in front of us, we can find peace, even in the scariest situations. It's not that the danger goes away immediately, but our trust in God becomes greater than our fear of the situation. I remember a time in my life when I was going through an incredibly tough season. It felt like everything was going wrong, and I couldn't see a way out. It was as if the whole world was against me. During that time, a wise woman in my life invited me to lunch. She knew what I was going through, and after we ate, she took me back to her apartment to show me something that changed my perspective forever. She led me to a painting of Daniel in a lion's den. As I stood there, looking at the painting, she asked me, what do you see? I noticed the lions scattered around the room, some were lying down, some looking up, others wandering around. There were bones on the floor, remnants of what the lions had. Devoured before Daniel arrived. The scene was intense, but I missed the most important detail at first. She pointed out that Daniel wasn't looking at the lions at all. His eyes were fixed on a bright ray of light, representing God's presence. His hands were calmly behind his back, and he wasn't afraid. This woman, with such kindness and wisdom, told me, Daniel wasn't focused on the lions. He was focused on God. That moment changed me. It was as though God reached into my heart and realigned my perspective. I had been so focused on the difficulties in my life, the people who were against me, the stress, the uncertainty, that I forgot to look toward God. From that day forward, everything shifted. My fear started to fade, my doubts diminished, and I began to feel a deep sense of peace, knowing that God was in control. Just like Daniel, when we fix our gaze on God, everything else loses its power over us. The hardships may still be there, but they no longer control us. They no longer consume us because we realize that God is bigger than any problem we could ever face. He's the one who created the world, who holds all power in his hands, and who can shut the mouths of the lions in our lives. The power of focusing on God's principles. The Bible is full of powerful principles that guide us in how to live a life of faith, peace, and joy, no matter what we're going through. One of those key principles is found in Galatians 6 verse 7, which says, 
we reap what we sow, this means that our actions have consequences, both good and bad. If we live according to God's word, we can trust that he will bless us in due time. But if we choose to go our own way, we'll experience the consequences of those choices. One principle that has always guided me is the simple truth of obedience to God. When we obey God and follow his instructions, we can leave the outcome in his hands. Sometimes obedience to God leads us into challenging situations, just like it did for Daniel. But here's the thing, even when obedience brings us into difficult circumstances, God is still with us. And he's more than capable of handling whatever comes our way. One of my favorite promises in the Bible is found in Isaiah 40 verse 31, where it says, Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not faint. This is another principle of God's kingdom, when we wait on him and trust in his timing, he gives us strength that we could never find on our own. He lifts us up and helps us rise above the difficulties we face. It's so important to understand that God operates based on principles, not feelings. Our feelings change from day to day, hour to hour, and minute to minute. But God's principles are unchanging. His word is solid ground we can stand on when everything else feels like it's falling apart. When we obey God and leave the consequences to him, we can rest in the knowledge that he will work everything out for our good, even if we don't see how right now. Trusting God with the consequences. One of the hardest things for us to do as humans is to trust God with the outcome of our obedience. We want to know exactly what will happen. We want to control the situation. But the truth is, we're not in control, God is. And that's a good thing because he sees the bigger picture that we can't see. When you obey God, you're planting seeds that will bear fruit in the future. You may not see the results immediately, but they will come in time. It's like planting a tree. You don't see it grow overnight, but if you water it, care for it, and give it time, that tree will eventually bear fruit. So, let me ask you this, is there any consequence of your obedience that God can't handle? The answer is no. God can handle every single consequence. Whether it's the consequences of a tough decision, the outcome of a leap of faith, or the challenges that come with following him, God is more than capable of taking care of you. When you trust God with the consequences, you'll experience a peace that goes beyond understanding. You'll find joy in knowing that you're in his hands, no matter what happens. And that peace, that joy, is not dependent on your circumstances, it comes from knowing that God is in control and that he's working for your good. God's control over our lives. It's important to remember that nothing happens in our lives without God allowing it. If you're a child of God, everything that comes your way has passed through his hands first. That doesn't mean we'll always like what happens. There have been many times in my life when I've told God that I didn't like the situation I was in. I've complained, I've wrestled with him in prayer, and I've even asked, why, God? But you know what? God doesn't always answer those, why, questions the way we want him to. Sometimes he's silent, and we're left to trust that he knows what he's doing. Over time, I've learned that his silence doesn't mean he's not working. It simply means he's inviting me to trust him more deeply, to lean into his promises, and to rest in the knowledge that he's in control. Even when we don't understand what's happening, we can be confident that God is at work. He's always moving, always working behind the scenes, arranging things in ways that we couldn't possibly imagine. And in the end, everything he allows is for a reason, even if we don't see it right away. Living without guilt and sin. One of the greatest obstacles to trusting God fully is living with guilt or unconfessed sin. Sin creates a barrier between us and God, and it short-circuits his power in our lives. When we hold on to sin, it becomes harder to trust that God has everything under control. We start to rely on ourselves instead of relying on him, and that leads to anxiety, fear, and uncertainty. But here's the good news, God is ready to forgive. No matter what you've done, no matter how far you've strayed, God is waiting with open arms to welcome you back. When you confess your sins and turn back to him, 
that barrier of guilt is broken, and his power can flow freely in your life once again. Don't let sin keep you from experiencing the fullness of God's blessings. Confess it, lay it at his feet, and allow him to restore your relationship with him. When you do, you'll find that trusting him becomes easier, and you'll experience the peace and confidence that comes from walking closely with your Creator. Conclusion The message is clear, what you focus on grows. If you focus on your problems, they'll seem insurmountable. But if you focus on God, your faith will grow, and you'll begin to see his hand at work in every aspect of your life. Remember Daniel, he didn't look at the lions, he looked at God. And because of that, he was able to sleep peacefully, even in the middle of a den full of danger. So today, I encourage you, shift your focus. Fix your eyes on God, and watch as he brings you peace, strength, and deliverance, no matter what you're facing. Trust him with the consequences of your obedience, and know that he's working all things together for your good. Let go of guilt, surrender your fears, and rest in the knowledge that God is in control. As you take this message to heart, let faith guide your steps and fill your life with peace. If this video has blessed you, please subscribe to the channel so you never miss an uplifting prayer or word of encouragement. Like this video if it spoke to you, and share it with someone who may need hope today. And before you go, I've picked another video just for you, click to keep watching and discover more of God's blessings in your life. Let's grow in faith together, and may God continue to guide and protect you always.